Hi, welcome along. I'm Jeff Goodwin. This is our watercolour painting that we're going to do. This is the completed one, obviously, and we'll paint this together. It's on A4. And it's just um, some sort of a river, a country scene. Might be a good place to camp. So there we are, you can see the river there, the uh, background. We'll start off with the sky and we'll wet the paper with our clear water once again. I'm gonna go over where there's some, oh, in the background there's um, a bit of a mountain range just in the background. I'm just going over that mountain range as well. I'm going right through the tree. I want some, um, I've just, uh, I've just realized I want some more trees on the left hand side. So I'll put, the, draw them in a bit later. Should have done that first. So this is a very light blue that I'm using. And uh, I might, it's got a little bit of cobalt blue mixed in with this light blue, but not too much cobalt blue. It's mainly light blue. I'm going to continue uh, the colour where the water is and I'm going to put a little bit more cobalt blue in and mix it with that light blue. Okay, we've done that, so we'll do the water with the same sort of colour. Tiny bit darker there for the water. Not too dark, but just a bit darker. I'm going to put this um, background mountain in. Now this is just a mixture of ultramarine blue and a little bit of olive green. Both colours are by Art Spectrum. But it's a very, very light wash of ultramarine blue and olive green. Now I don't care if that bleeds up into the sky, that's fine. Page is still damp, obviously. 
and that's what I want. I wanted to put this colour on while the page was still damp. And I think I'll leave that. Well, I said I was going to leave it, but <laughs> I'll, I'll add just a little bit more to it. tilting the board just to let the colour run back a bit. And that's fine, I'll leave that, let it dry. And I'm painting the other side of the, um, painting the river bank on the other side of the river. So I'm wetting the paper first. with clean water. And I will be putting a light yellow down, as you can see. Also, I'll be putting some olive green down and a little bit of yellow ochre down as well. But uh, we'll start off with this lighter yellow. Yellow ochre. Now I'm applying this while it's all still very wet because that's the effect I want. Some people say always let your first layer dry and then apply your second layer, and that's correct, um, but there are other instances where you can apply your paint while the paint is still wet. And uh, that will blend the colours in really beautifully then. So there's no hard and fast rule with watercolours. Or that uh, light yellow. You need to experiment and uh, see what looks good for you. And if you feel happy with it, well then that's great.
just putting a, a um, light brown or a dark, rather, sorry, a darker brown in here on the bottom. Some burnt umber. We'll be adding olive green in, as you can see. And now you can see it's starting to come together at that riverbank. Don't forget to subscribe. I really um, value uh, the subscribers, people who've already subscribed. Thank you so very much for supporting this channel and I always get excited um, with new subscribers we're trying to grow this channel and once i get to a certain amount i'll um, put on a patreon and for those who wish to um, be part of that uh, patreon channel there'll be exclusive um, content for those people just going in more depth with uh, certain things to do with watercolor art that'll be on the patreon once we get to a certain amount of subscribers, we can do that. I'm just putting in the background colour for this tree. Sort of a peach colour. And then I'll go over that tree with, um, with a uh, burnt umber and also a white gouache or colour. We'll use that for the tree as well. And a bit of black down near the base of the tree and to the side particularly that big tree on the right hand side that you can see penciled in there. I want another tree as well. You could all, you could just stop with that one tree on the other side of the riverbank. That'd be um, quite good if you wanted to do that. But I do have another tree which I'm going to put in there. So this is the one obviously on the right hand side we're just putting that peachy colour on this one and we'll be going over the um, this tree and the other one that I just painted with more colours. Makes you want to go camping, doesn't it?
this is this uh, other tree I was telling you about. a bit of white gouache. Now we've got this tan colour or, or darker brown which we're putting on. Continuing with that darker brown. We want some blacks in there eventually. So I'm just going to wet that uh, under that big tree, just with some um, bit of paint there and uh, just some clear water and some uh, olive green, just so it ru runs in and blends in fairly easily. I'll get some more olive green, just to give the illusion of some vegetation down in there.
I'm putting some blacks on the tree there. Like white uh, gouache there. You might think that looks pretty good, just leaving the trees there without any leaves and foliage. You might think that's quite okay, but we're gonna put some leaves on our trees, some foliage. Like so. And we'll continue doing that. What I did is just wet the paper with clean water around where I wanted the foliage and I've got some olive green which I put on and it's just flowed naturally uh, with me guiding the paint as well. Put a little bit on the other side. Just going to strengthen some areas up with the olive green. Uh, this is um, just filling in some areas here with the olive green, just giving it a bit more uh, depth. Wetting the paper in areas where I want the foliage. A tiny bit of colour left on the brush there, but that doesn't matter because we'll be putting foliage over that anyway. And with the olive green once again. I'm just painting um, some sort of um, shadowy type um, area here. Not quite a shadow, but you know how sometimes you get, um, uh, I don't know, a little bit of mossy area near the river, near the actual river bank. Combination of that and, and a bit of shadow. So that's what I'm endeavoring to put in now. 
uh, with a little bit of a mixture of um, yellow ochre and olive green. But I want to soften the edges. just uh, with a damp brush of clean water and dry it out with a towel as much as possible. I'm just softening those edges a little bit there. a little bit of olive green in on the water there just for some um, colour reflecting on the surface perhaps there's our reflection I meant to show you that I left the record off I'm very sorry but I virtually just wet the paper and uh, just put a very light wash of olive green down on the paper. So right where you can see that river disappearing into the distance, I'm just putting a little bit of uh, yellow ochre on here now. Where you can see the river disappearing into the distance, we want to get some, or we'll have some very faint trees in, in that area, some small faint trees perhaps. Now just bringing the colour back a little bit, in some areas.
Reflections can be a bit tricky. Uh, this is just putting some Australian dark leaf green just along the edge here in places. of a few grasses in there. Just putting a bit of reflection in from um, the side of the river bank. I might actually use a, um, a flat brush continue that. Probably get uh, a better effect using a flat brush. Not too bad, but I just want to bring more of a reflection of that um, very dark colour. So I will use a flat brush, just bring that colour down. wasn't happy with that reflection so I decided to just give it a bit more oomph using the olive green there let's bring it back in places I think that's a bit better. The reflection's a bit more shaped like the trees. And we want to put um, just the illusion of, um, I don't know, a ripple or some sort of reflective surface going along the water. And we use a flat brush for that. I don't want to overdo it, I just want it to be subtle because we do have a really nice um, 
areas of reflection of that blue sky which you can see going through the reflections of the tree in bits and pieces so I want to keep that as well and we'll put just uh, uh, just a very subtle line through here I think that's all we need. Yeah, that looks pretty good. What we need, uh, remember, are those trees where you see that water going into the distance right on the horizon. We need uh, some very um, faded trees in the background. Now using this flat brush, remember I said I was going to do this? Just dragging a bit of colour down in some areas. Get a bit more colour on the brush, I think. Just a bit. A bit more. what we want just a just a little bit of reflection coming off the side there uh, yes we're gonna put those trees in in the distance just some faded trees so I'll mix up a little bit of Australian dark leaf green a very very light wash of it though and we'll put those trees in the distance just going along here just to give it something I'm not going to bring the trees right across just in an area I think that's all we need there. Taking off the masking tape. Peeling away from the paper so we don't rip into the mark, as I did the other day. And here is our final reveal. There it is. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got something out of that. Um, good idea is if you want to pause the video and just paint along as I paint. Um, but uh, just some simple steps there. Just um, a river somewhere. Could be a great area to go camping. Nice relaxing spot. I hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe and click that bell icon. I'll be back again with uh, another watercolour very, very soon. Here it is close up again. Okay, that's it for me. I'll be back again soon. Thank you for watching.